Good morning, believers. Good morning, Israel. Friday morning. <clears throat> what is it? 22nd. 322. Oh my God. What are they going to do today? Heavenly Father, bless my brothers and sisters. Give them peace. Give them understanding. Give them wisdom. Give them the ability to struggle through this nonsense, these afflictions, these pains, these hurts, their sins. They know, and I know, that they're washed away with the blood from your son, Jesus Christ. We thank you for that. That way we can have peace and be reconciled back to you through the Holy Spirit. Amen. You're welcome. So, um, we were talking about the enemy. Why, why am I so upset with, um, this asshole, Tony Williams? He needs to read the Psalms. See, See, let me, let me explain something to you. The reason Benjamin, the reason my people, why do they wear dreadlocks? Why do, why do, why do the Nazarenes let their hair grow into, into dreads, into locks? Because we, we understand that we're locked down here. Dreadlocks. We're in dread here. We're sons of sorrow. We know the truth and it makes us sad. We've been put out from God. And if you realize you've been put out from God, you've been, the Heavenly Father kicked us fucking down here from the beginning. Adam and Eve, come on. Hello. Let's get back to the main story here. What's the main story? We're fucking put out. So when you look at the Psalms, see, see, I hate, I hope I don't start saying that. See, fucking weak. See, what you need to understand about King David King David is a typology of the Heavenly Father. Why is he so sad? Why, why are the Psalms, if you read the Psalms, and you understand what you're reading, if you read the Psalms and you understand what you're reading, you understand the Psalms of David is the Heavenly Father crying out against his own nature? Let me let me read it to you. Sins, sins are a heavy burden. So, what's David saying? Psalm 38. Sins are a heavy burden. A psalm of David to bring to remembrance. What are we supposed to remember? We're supposed to remember that all the times that we've been here, all the pain we caused each other, ourselves, our families, our neighbors. The selfishness. The instability, the, the wantonness, the, all that. The idolatry. The voodoo, the witchcraft, the lies.
Where are we supposed to be now? Where where are we supposed to be now that the age is ending? What are we supposed to be remembering to bring to remembrance? We're supposed to be remembering that it all that all that lying, all that hatred, all that disrespect, all that inconsideration, all that murder, thievery. Hurts our relationship with God. He can't understand why we're that way. He doesn't, he didn't, he didn't give us that originally. We ate off that tree. We decided, you know what? I'm going to do what the fuck I want. I'm going to eat off that tree he told me not to eat off. Why is God so sad? Because we thought we knew better than him. Why is God so sad? Why did, why did we need Jesus? Because God couldn't figure out how to fix us. We died. We spiritually died when we, when, when Eve and Adam decided they were going to just eat that fruit. Ah, let's try it. Whoa. Uh, oh, no, no. Too late. All right. There you go. Thorns and thistles, briars, pain in childbirth. Man's going to hate woman. Woman's going to hate man. I'm going to make you guys enemies. You're going to turn into enemies of your own selves. You're going to hate yourselves. You're not going to know yourselves. You're going to be in hell. And that's where we're at. Lord, rebuke me not in thy wrath, neither ch chasten me in thy hot displeasure. Does it sound like that? Does it sound like the Heavenly Father's happy? Does it sound like I'm happy? For thine arrow stick fast in me. And thy hand presses me sore. There is no soundness in my flesh because of thine anger. Neither is there any rest in my bones because of my sin. For mine iniquities are gone over mine head. As a heavy burden, they are too heavy for me. What is, what is David saying? He's saying, This is bullshit lord this is this 3d junkyard this this place that you put me in this predicament that i'm in that i i created for myself and you you told me i was gonna have to take this up the ass steamrolled kicked to the curb treated like a douche bag If I would have known this was going to happen, I would have listened to you. I'm so sorry. I remember. I remember my sin. I remember eating the fruit of wickedness. I don't want to be a God. I just want to be your child. Being, Knowing you're a divine being. Listen, knowing you're a divine being should make you realize how are you fallen fallen angel you've fallen from great heights this is bible teaching people lovely masha people beautiful sons and daughters of the most high god brothers and sisters of jesus christ filled with that spirit that's us Does anyone want to hear that? Why don't why why don't you want to hear that? Because then you have to realize you're in a fucking predicament. 
You're in a bad fucking predicament. Let me let me read this. Let, if you understand, David, my wounds stink. are foul and festering. Why Why are the wounds foul and festering? Because the wounds that I have in my heart, they're not going away. It hurts to know that I've been put here because I was so mean, wicked, dumb, Angry, arrogant, all that. It's my own fault. I'll put that one. I'll put that one in the description box. It's all mine. It's all my fault. It's all mine. It's all mine. It's all mine. It's all my own fault. World party. World party. It's all mine. It's all my own fault. Stop pointing fingers. What did Adam do when God said, what the hell is going on here? Uh, 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 she, she, she told me to eat the fruit. She, she's the one. Bunch of finger pointers. If you don't, if you're not telling the truth, keep your finger pointing. Point it at yourself. You have no right to point fingers until you understand what David's saying. I'm a fucking wrecked, foul piece of crap. The only way I can get redeemed is my Lord Jesus Christ picks me up and says, Nope, you're mine. You don't have to worry about that anymore. Do you guys understand? I am troubled. I am bowed down greatly. I go mourning all the day long. For my loins are filled with a loathsome disease. And there is no soundness in my flesh. I'm a disgusting, degraded, despicable piece of fleshy poop. And so are you. Don't want to hear that, do you? Poopy. Poopy pants. No, I'm I I repent every day, Tony Williams. I I wash myself every day because I'm gonna get harpazoed out of here. I am feeble and sore broken. I'm severely broken. I have roared. I have roared by reason of the disquietness of my heart. I'm groaning because I'm in turmoil. I'm groaning because I'm in turmoil. Do you see do you see a little turmoil in me, folks? You know why? Because I know the truth. I am feeble and fucking broken, severely broken, and I'm groaning because my heart is in turmoil. Lord, all my desire is before thee, and my groaning is not hid from thee. My heart panteth, my strength fails me. As for the light of mine eyes, it is also gone from me. My lovers and my friends stand aloof from my sore, and my kinsmen stand far, afar off. Where is everybody? 
Where is everybody? What is David saying? No one's here for JD Nija. No one's here for the house of David. No one's here for me. A few of you, 10 of you, 12 of you. Word of truth. I'm fucking alone. My lovers and my friends stand aloof from my sore, from my plague. I'm a plague to people. And my neighbors stand back from me. They also that seek after my life lay snares for me, and they that seek my hurt speak mischievous things and imagine deceits all the day long. What's, what's black Hebrew Israelism doing? Figuring out ways to stand against the truth? Saying all kinds of mischievous, wicked nigga shit? Manipulative, lying... But I, as a deaf man, heard not, and I was a dumb man that opened not his mouth. Thus, thus I was as a man that heareth not, in whose mouth are no reproofs, no answer. That time's over. I have an answer. I am the answer. Do you think I do this? What do you think I would really do this for fucking 15 people a day? If I had any sense? Do you think I would give myself a fucking aneurysm every morning? <sighs> my eyes fucking bugging out of my head cuz I'm so fucking angry. Remove thy stroke away from me. I'm consumed by the blow of thy hand. Steamrolled. I'm telling you, folks. I'm trying to explain. I've been doing this for... Fuck. How many hours? Let's go back to enemy. Let's see what someone else has to say about it. Let's go to a... Uh, um, and then I'm going to come back. I'm going to talk about Matthias a little bit and how messed up he is because I need to get some... I need to really let some vitriol out. Um, let's go to Jeremiah. Fifteen eleven. We're talking about the adversary, the enemy, Hebrews number three forty, three forty one, Sharar. There's a different, there's a couple different words for it. Um, Oyeb. And I think Ayab. Ayab or Oryab. Sharar, hostile. Actively hostile. Actively hating. Actively a foe. So we're going to Jeremiah 15. Encourage him. Encouragement for me, the Benjamite. 
Woe is me, my mother, that thou hast borne me a man of strife and a man of contention to the whole earth. What's Jeremiah saying? He's a Benjamite. Who's his mother? Rachel. Woe is me, my mother, that has borne me a man of strife and a man of contention to the whole earth. I have neither lent on usury, nor men have lent to me on usury, yet every one of them curses me. The Lord said, Verily, it shall be well with thy remnant. Verily, I will cause the enemy to entreat thee well in the time of evil and in the time of affliction. Shall iron break the northern iron and the steel? Thy substance and thy treasures will I give to the spoil without price, in that for all thy sins, even in all thy hoarders. I will make thee a pass with thine enemies. I will make you a... I will make you to pass over your enemies. Like I said, I'm an apex predator. Never been known to fail. No one wants to be on the winning team. Everyone wants to be on the losing team. And I will make thee to pass over your enemies into a land which thou knowest not. For a file... Fire is kindled in my anger, which shall burn upon you. Right? Is that anger burning on me? Jeremiah is a Benjamite. What's he saying? Your people, your remnant, thy remnant, my people, my, my part of the mosaic, my part of the quilt is going to be fine. My anger which shall burn upon you, O Lord, thou knowest. Remember me and visit me and revenge me of my persecutors. Take me not away in thy long suffering. Know that for thy sake I have suffered rebuke. You know how much shit I've put up with over my incarnations? All for the Lord. All for the Lord. Subscribe. If you want to get close to the Lord, get close to me. We're like that. We're like that. Thy words were found, and I did eat them. And thy word was unto me the joy and rejoicing of my heart. I am called by thy name, O Lord God of hosts. How do I know that the name's not Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai Bashem, Because my name's Adonijah. My Lord is Jehovah. That's my name. I am called by thy name, O Lord God of hosts, Adonai, Jah. The Lord, my Lord is Jehovah. What can I do? What can I do for you? What can I do for you? I sat not in the assembly of the mockers, nor rejoiced. I sat alone because of thy hand. For though thou hast filled me with indignation. Fucking pissed. Out here all by myself. Why is my pain perpetual? And my wound incurable? which refuses to be healed. Will you be altogether unto me as a liar and as a waters that fail? Never been known to fail. I trust the Lord. It hurts now, 
But when the morning comes and that joy comes, you're going to be glad that you were riding with me, folks. Subscribe. Tell your friends. I'm not your everyday pastor. I'm not your everyday Bible teacher. I'm a fourth son of David, man. Adonijah. I'm a motherfucker. I'm an apex predator. You can't fail if you follow me. J.D. Nigel, Word of Truth. I love you guys. Peace and grace. I'm out.